So, Black Eyed Peas have released a new album in 2020. It's called Translation. The Black Eyed Peas are honestly a guilty pleasure of mine. I think that they are way overhated. Like, I really like a lot of their singles. Yes, even some of their shitty club boom tracks. And uh, this new album right here sees them going reggae tone for over 50 minutes. Oh, when I heard that, I was just thinking, oh god, why do I have to listen to it? And I had to listen to it because I was wondering what it's gonna sound like. And after listening to the album, I was thinking, why do I like it? Listen, it's 2020. I could take any dumb party album this year, alright? Uh, because it's the pandemic. Everything is going wrong nowadays. And uh, this album is just, you know, a reminder to forget about the world. Forget about all the problems that we have, basically. So, um, why do you say we go down track by track? The opening track is Ritmo with J Balvin. And, um, I do like this track. Um, it's, it's catchy, it samples, uh, the rhythm of the night by an act that I probably shouldn't name drop right now. And, um, well, I was kind of, you know, I was, it was kind of weird seeing the Black Eyed Peas going reggae tone at first, especially once I heard that track, because I don't know if I've listened to their non-album singles or not. But, um, as I said, this track is pretty good. Certainly better than the remix featuring Jaden Smith and some really weird uh, production choices, like... The remix has some really weird production edits on it. But you know, this was in Bad Boys for Life. It was obvious that Jaden Smith was gonna be in the soundtrack of a movie which stars his father. The other two singles, Feel the Beat featuring Maluma and Mama Sita featuring Ozuna and uh, the group's new vocalist, the, the group's new female vocalist, J Ray Soul, are pretty nice. They're really nice, but uh, I do have some issues with them. Feel the Beat has a sample that's, that kind of gets on my nerves uh, a bit. I mean, depending on how I'm feeling. And Mama Sita, I do not like the chorus of that thing, even though it samples La Isla Bonita by Madonna. Um, but I do like the, the Mama Sita post-chorus, I suppose. There's also Vida Loca featuring Nicky Jam and Taiga. Ugh, Taiga on the Black Eyed Peas track, Jesus. Which hilariously samples You Can Touch This and also a Rick James song. Um, and it's, it's pretty nice, it's pretty fun, even though Taiga is on it. But Nicky Jam delivers a decent verse, and uh, yeah, the, the performances are pretty good on this thing. No Manana featuring El Alpha is just straight up hilarious. I like El Alpha's voice, um, and I, I, I especially find the Tiempo Po Tiempo Po by Taboo really hilarious. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this track, it's, it's just really fun. But Celebrate is the ultimate party anthem of this album. It samples Conga by Miami Sound Machine, which is an instant plus. Um, and I like, really like the saxophone, and, uh, you know, it's just a reminder to, you know, celebrate. Forget about everything else. Ma Booty featuring French Montana is also pretty hilarious. It has a really weirdly edited air horn, which should be a negative for me, but for me it's just hilarious, actually. Um, and, well, I don't know, the production choices in this, in this track are really strange. French Montana goes all out for his verse, he goes really crazy on it. Um, and it's really weirdly features a sample of uh, of a La Bouche song. I don't even know how to feel about that. There's a lot to like about these seven tracks, so I think they're pretty good. But there's seven others that range from okay to, oh god, what is this? Girl Like Me features Shakira, who is literally meowing like a goddamn cat on the hook. Um, and I feel like that this is a song about Shakira, not just featuring her, because Will I Am, it literally says uh, that he wants a girl like Shakira, and all these references to her as well, and Apple the App says that he likes all kinds of Latinos, name-dropping Selena Gomez and Brazilian singer Anita as well. So this song is just ridiculous. I mean, I like the production, but um, the lyrics, they're just, nah, they're not for me. Don't Love features J. Ray Soul on vocals, and only her. There is no one else who's on the track, not even Will I Am, and that's part of the reason why I don't really like this track. I mean, I like the production, but just the fact that J. Ray Soul is the only one who who does vocals on this thing, nah. Dodo Bueno features Colombian pop group Piso Twenty One, who are pretty forgettable on this thing, and they're not really all that interesting. And Will I Am just. He's just trying way too hard on the first verse like he thinks that shouting his lyrics is so freaking cool But it's like it's really not and this is just 
Um, it, this song kind of gets on my nerves, I'm sorry. And also on this track, Apple the App is talking about how I Got a Feeling got them so much fame. App, App, listen, y you guys were famous before I Got a Feeling, you guys know that. I know that I Got a Feeling made them like super famous, but like, come on, they were famous before that, and they had better songs before that as well. I don't really like Duro Hard, um, and it's not because of Becky G. She's a pretty good vocalist, though it is kind of a stereotype that everyone tries to get her on a Latin track, but whatever. It's probably because of the Toca lo touche Duro Harder um, thing that Will I Am does with this robotic voice, which is apparently reminiscent of Daft Punk's Technologic, which is really freaking weird, but yeah, this song is just also kind of nerve-wracking. And then there's three tracks, which is only the Black Eyed Peas and no one else. There's I Woke Up, uh, produced by Russian, uh, which is, it's forgettable, it's just, it's okay, it's not really all that special. And Action is entirely produced by DJ Snake of all people, adding a bit of a, a Middle Eastern flavor to the track. But, I don't know, the performance is really just not that great on this track. And Get Loose now isn't even a freaking song, it just feels like an interlude with lots of random words and noises made throughout the track. I have no idea why this is on the album, they could have just cut this track out entirely and released it as like a deluxe edition bonus track or something. So yeah, there are seven tracks on this album that are pretty good, I really like them, and there's seven tracks that range from okay to... What even is this? I'm sure there's a lot of you though who have noticed that I've forgotten to talk about the final track that I've saved for last news today. And it is a song about the pandemic. Will I Am, Apple the App, and Taboo, you know, talking about all these things about people passing away and that they're praying for all the countries uh, and all the old people to, you know, feel better that they can see the light of day. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I do agree with the message on this song, uh, except for the fact that Will I Am literally name drops the virus on this track, which means that this song is gonna be incredibly dated in a few years, but, um, while this whole pandemic is going on, I do like this track, and, uh, I do accept it, but I just don't know if it's even going to be, um, you know, popular in the next few years. I mean, okay, you know what, I'll, I'll tell you guys something, I, I swear to you, uh, the Black Eyed Peas are once going to re-release this track as, um, the Black Eyed Peas featuring the world. You know how they did that with Where Is The Love. Um, I think they're gonna do that, uh, as well with this track. And, uh, it's gonna, it's gonna be because of, uh, another problem in the world. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Mark my words, they're gonna re-release this track again. So, that's everything I have to say about Translation. It's just a mindless party album. Half of it is good, half of it is alright to ugh, whatever. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's 2020. As I said, I'll take any stupid party album. So yeah, very light 7 out of 10. It's not great, but at least it's good. As I said, mindless party filler. It's alright. Just listen to this once. At least once, if you guys want to. It's, it's alright, and just... Don't hate on this too much, okay? Maybe on the tracks that I don't think are all that great. But other than that, it's alright. Black Eyed Peas, you've got reggae tone, but you could probably return to your old roots now. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to like and subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, and yeah, I've got some more videos planned um, for the next few weeks. Uh, hopefully most of them will be recorded in time and made in time. Um, and yeah... Uh, I guess that's it. That's all for today, guys, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.